hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is my november bullet journal um i started by setting the mood by lighting the candle and making myself a cup of tea the cup of tea i was drinking is actually chamomile and sage tea it helps me feel calm and that's why i chose that then i started by mixing my colors in the palette of colors that i have i do not have orange and so i used red and yellow to make the orange so that's what i basically did because i wanted to use orange as like a fall type theme for my bullet journal i also went ahead to make other shades of green using the greens i already had and i wanted to make lighter shades and mix the two greens to make like different shades of green for variety i went to pick some leaves from outside so i could use them for leaf prints and so i had to wash them and i needed them clean like squeaky clean so basically what i did i had to put because i was using paper i had to put like plastic board behind so that the paint would not print or bleed into the pages that were under then i took my leaf and i started with orange and i would paint the leaves the colors that i want them to print onto my page spending all this money while you sitting around unfortunately i was not able to show you guys the process of me placing the leaves onto the page i was able to show the first two leaves but not really all of the leaves so that's that you guys will get to see the end result so as you can see here i added green i added yellow and then i had to take some blue and mix it with white to make a lighter shade and use it as the background like the sky type view and so i used the lighter shade of blue to make my background for the leaf situation i had over there I cleared out the white outline of my picture because it just had to be clean so the next page I was working on was my important dates page and for this page I had already made a pencil outline of the important dates writing so the only thing I needed to do was to take my marker and trace on top of that which is more convenient um, I can't say I'm really perfect at the calligraphy thing but that's something I'm working on to make my bullet journals much better and then I had to erase the pencil markings to make it more cleaner and because I started with a full theme type I took green orange and yellow and just started drawing stuff around my important dates um, to make it more stylish I'd say To be honest, how it came out and how I thought and wanted it to come out was not it. So this page, I did not really like it. But I was just like, let me continue and maybe it would come through. And so I decided to put a little bit of paints in between the marker mark things I had done to just see if that would cover up for the damage done.
the painting did make it much better and so I drew a butterfly and some more leaves but I still wasn't satisfied so I just wrote the dates and left it then I went back to the page that I had done the leaves and they had already done my outline for November so I just wrote on top of that to finish it up and then I outlined it I low-key feel like I shouldn't have outlined the part where the leaf was but it was done what's done is done Thank you, but is it too late to try in that time that you wasted all of our So on to the next page was my affirmations page. I had already done my pencil writing for the affirmations, so I just had to write it in marker again. When we call it love, but even the sun sets in paradise, I'll matter pay for trying to call. So what I had in mind for this page was more of like an ombre sunset vibe So I took yellow and different shades of yellow and I added them up together to make with orange So it was like from the brightest yellow, the dullest yellow to orange And then I made splotches of yellow and orange at the top And all those fairy tales are also, for my affirmations page, I had already printed out the affirmations that I wanted. So I basically chose a few affirmations that were resonating with how I was feeling. Um, so to just make, basically make them for the month of November. Then together with that, I had some pictures that I had printed and I cut those out. So these pictures were actually for my goals page. So here I was just basically trying to see how everything would fit onto the page. Then I went over to my affirmations page and I started to stick all the affirmations onto the page. And the affirmations that were overlapping the size of my, my book, I just stuck them on the bottom right side of the top part. I went on to stick the pictures I had for my goals page to make like a scrapbook type theme. Then the next one was a habit tracker. So for the habit tracker, I also had the the words outlined in pencil. I didn't necessarily need a habit tracker, but I just needed to write down the daily habits that I do want to have during the month of November. So I just wrote it as a habit tracker. And for the design of this page I used leaves I did the same thing I did on the first page of the bullet journal So to just outline where I would write the habit, each habit, I just took different colors and tried, the beginning I tried to do like a water wash, then I ended up using bold colors to show where I would write each habit. Then I went on to show my weekly planning place. So this was also outlined in pencil, so I just had to write it down in my marker. So for this part, I cut my my I divided my page at the bottom into four so that each page would be for one week. I went on to make a light purple color that I was going to use for the background. I didn't really have like a purple purple that I wanted. So I went to mix two colors, pink and like a sort of 
violet color and I made the light purple that I wanted. Then I used that to paint the back. So for the square of each month, I tried to color like water washed colors, pink, purple, orange and yellow to indicate each section of the week. Then I went on to make the part that was written weekly bolder than it was. And that was basically it. Then I went on to check all the pages to see if I was satisfied with how they were looking. So for the front page of the monthly spread, I outlined it with my black mark. Then I took my paintbrush and took a brown shade and colored the bottom to make like a log thingy. So I tried to make it as realistic as possible. And yeah, I thought that was just fine. When I looked at the important dates page again, I just knew something had to be, you know, done to make it better. So I tried to color in the butterfly to, you know, make it a little bit more presentable. But in the end, I just decided that I really did not like this page. So I just wanted to make a new, new one. So I just left that for a bit. Then I went back to my weekly spread, weekly spread bud, and wrote down the dates in each week. Then I ended up just getting splotches of different colors to just put them onto the page to make it more colorful, make it beautiful. But that actually ended up ruining the important dates page. And I was like, no, this is not gonna work. This is really not gonna work. So I just decided to go to the weekly spread again. I didn't want to leave it looking plain. So I took pinks and purples and I just started making circles with my brush. And then I decided to add a bit of blue to just see how that would look. I decided to make another important dates page because that one was not doing it for me. So for the weekly spread I had done, that design, I decided to do the same. So I used like bold colors all over the page. Then I started taking water and like sort of diluting the bright colors I had used. I know it's hard to remember After that I was really satisfied with how it was looking. I thought it was fine for me. I added dots of yellow. Why? I don't know. But I just added dots of yellow then I stuck the page into the book. Now it's time for you guys to see the final review of the bullet journal. Now I'm paralyzed, still stuck in that time when we call it love. But even the sun sets in paradise. I'm at a pay phone trying to call home all of my change I spend on you. Where have the times gone, baby? It's all wrong. Where are the plans we made for two? If happy ever afters did exist, I would still be holding you like this. And all those fairies. Tales are full of shit. One more stupid love song, I'll be sick. No, man, that shit. I'll be out spending all this money while you're sitting around wondering why it wasn't you who came up from nothing. Made it from the bottom. Now, when you see me, I'm stunning. And all I'm across my bed. And that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this bullet journal. I enjoyed making it. So don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to stay tuned for more videos that are coming. Bye! What you could have saw, but sad to say it's over for. Phantom pull up, ballet, open doors. Wish I'd go away, got what you was looking for. Now it's me, who do you want so you can go and take a little piece of shit with you?